So today I thought I would make my Fifty Shades of Grey movie review because I know a lot of you have subscribed to my channel through my trailer reaction for this movie. Thank you very much for that, by the way. And I know a few of you actually want to, for some reason, see my uh, opinions on this. So, uh, you know, we aim to please. Yeah, I know what movie I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I really need to sort out all of my thoughts and feelings about this. So if I ramble in this video, that's why, because I haven't really... I don't know what I think yet. So Fifty Shades of Grey is directed by Sam Taylor Johnson and stars Jamie Dornan as Christian Grey and Dakota Johnson as Anastasia Steele. When I saw the first trailer for this I was really really excited for Jamie because he really really looked like the Christian Grey that I had formed in my head from the books. And in parts of the trailer he really really looked like so intense and he was sexy and he was just ah. And I thought that Dakota sounded very very boring and she looked very plain and I know that's kind of the deal that she's supposed to be ordinary and you know all that jazz but I just thought that it was a bit overkill I guess but when I watched the movie it was totally the opposite I thought that Dakota was really really great I thought that she brought heart and soul to Anna I thought that she brought humor to a few lines that may not have been so good and I thought that Jamie from time to time was a bit boring and a bit plain and it wasn't until the last maybe 15 minutes from the fight scene before the last red room scene until the end that I thought that he really started shining as Christian and I think that he lacked a bit of the aggressiveness that Christian Grey has in the books and he wasn't as intense in the actual movie as he looked in the trailer but he was still good I think that he just needs to kind of grow into Christian's character because I think that he is a very complex one I also thought this movie was really really beautifully shot the overviews of Seattle was really really pretty the colors were really intense every scene had just depth and the sex scenes if we're gonna touch on them which I think we kind of have to. I thought that the sex scenes were very modest in a sense because of the fact that it is an erotic novel that is being turned into a movie. I thought that they were gonna go like all in, like we're gonna see like parts of the human autonomy that you may not want to see in a movie. But we didn't. We saw a lot of breasts, which I get, a, a lot of close-ups of breasts when arms are being tied and stuff like that which I thought was maybe you know I don't need to see that like this close it's not necessary for me personally but I thought that they were very well made if that makes any sense and I think they were good that they skipped a few of the sex scenes in the book that may not have been particularly fun to watch on uh, on um, film. The soundtrack to this movie were also really 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 good. Like Beyonce you topped yourself. I have no idea how you did that. You made your own songs better and they were perfection from the start. Queen B, I stand behind you forever. Like and I really like the fact that they used songs that were mentioned in the book like Witchcraft and I Put a Spell on You and also Crazy in Love and uh, it just kind of connected it a bit to the book even more and speaking of that the script the thing about turning a book into a movie is that you want to use quotes from the book you want to have that connection and the fans of the book be like yeah like ladies baby that works that was really well made other parts like when they say each other's name before they like the elevated close and stuff like that doesn't really work for me the scene where Anna tells Christian that she's a virgin because yes she is of course she is and in the book Christian freaks out because he just showed her his red room his darkest secret and his, she goes and tells him she's a virgin he has the right to freak out in the movie he cups her face looks at her and says where have you been 
Her response is waiting. And I'm not, I just... No! 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 How many people did that get past? Like... I didn't like it. I didn't like it. A few of, of, of the scenes in this movie and the dialogue between were just... No, 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 no. I'm not saying that the entire script were bad. I'm just saying that parts of the scripts were really, really bad. So I'm sorry for the people who really wanted me to give this movie like... 10 out of 10 stars, I don't give ratings like that anyway, so it doesn't really matter what you want me to give it. But for you guys that wanted me to love it and just praise this movie, I can't do that. I'm sorry. But I'm also sorry for the people who are here to watch me shit on this movie. I can't do that either, because I really enjoyed it. Like, it's not the best movie of the year, it's, but it's not the worst either, and in some kind of strange way, I enjoyed it. I am really hoping that they make the last two books too, because I really want to see if Jamie kind of grows into Christian even more, and I want to see where they go with it, and yeah. But anyways, that is all I have for... Hello there. That is all I have for today. If you have watched the movie, please leave a comment telling me what you thought about it because I really want to know your opinion. Are you as confused about your feelings as I am or did you die-heartedly like love it or hate it? Tell me about it. But that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be kind to one another and yourself and I will see you in my next video. May the post be with you. Bye! I told you I love the soundtrack. <laughs>